shaking this up next. <laughs> Let me grab that. Hi everyone, my name is Emily and welcome to my kitchen. I'm all for spontaneity, but there's nothing worse than throwing together a last minute dinner party and having no exciting cocktails to serve. So to help you out, and honestly to help me out, I've put together some simple three ingredient cocktails using these Master of Mixes products. And believe me, they taste as good as they are easy to make. So let's get started. First up is the Strawberry Gimlet. This is gonna be a shaken cocktail, so make sure you have your shaker ready to go. Mine already has ice in it. And it's gonna be one ounce of the strawberry mixer. These are fresh California strawberries that go right into it. And then we're also going to use one ounce of the single pressed lime juice. And that is ready here as well. With a gimlet, if you go to a bar and try to order a gimlet, the bartender typically gives you kind of a dirty look because of how much lime they have to muddle in the back. So this makes it really easy to make at home. And you're gonna put two ounces of the gin in there to make it a true gimlet. So there's one and two. And then it's time to shake. And then pour that right into your waiting martini glass. You can see that bright strawberry flavor coming right through. And garnish it with a strawberry. Ta-da! You have a strawberry gimlet. Next we have a Manhattan Negroni. So this is a stirred drink. We're going to be using the Manhattan Mixer, which already has the cherries, bitters, and cane sugar in there already. And we're gonna do one and a half ounces of that. And then next is gonna be one and a half ounces again, but this time with the gin. Pour that right in there. And then the last is the one ounce of Campari. So that is gonna bring out that pretty Negroni flavor and color. And then bonus points if you have a long spoon, but stir that right up. And then we're gonna use a Hawthorne strainer here to put over the glass and then fancily strain it into your low rocks glass. And then, of course, my Curly Q Orange. Put that right on top. And there you have a Manhattan Negroni. Thanks so much for joining me today. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can check out even more recipes.